Hello guys. Man, it's a hot day. Kids have I been normally, bothering us all day. I normally drink crust, crushed ice with water. It's just too hot. Too hot? It's getting cubed ice? PJ wants ramen. Mom said she would make him ramen. So PJ's trying to read the instructions to do it. And Uriah's going to do cup noodles. Boys are going to try to do it themselves in the microwave. Yeah, you have to fill it up until you see the water. Apparently, I don't put anything in first. Is that what it says? Yeah. It and says. It's supposed to be spicy. Wait, wait, wait. Is it, is, did it say you're supposed to put water in there first? Or you supposed no. To put the noodles and then water? You put the noodles and all the spices below it. Below the noodles. And then you add room temperature water. Okay. Water soup base. He's just trying to follow Whatever that means. Oh, I'm dying from this heat. Hey, hey, hey. Bro, this guy always just leaving things everywhere. <laughs> oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> Alright, your eye is done with his. Does it look good? It's like burning hot. Um, okay. I was done with mine. I came out here to try and help the boys make their noodles, but it looks like everything is under control. Looks, looks like uh, PJ found another method of cooking ramen, and I'm going to do what he did. I'm just going to use the microwave and see how it works out. I mean, if it works out, that's great. That's just another, I guess, easier method to cook the noodles. I I don't think I've ever made this one in a in a bowl and in a microwave before. So that's cool. Oh no, it says Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 7 minutes. It doesn't matter. You can put the seasoning after or before. It doesn't really matter. But PJ is a rule follower. So if it says put it first, he's going to put it first. Yeah. One thing it doesn't say to do is mix it halfway, but I always like to do this just because like when you're cooking in a microwave it doesn't really get it all even so halfway you like to just mix it up and then it'll cook better it'll cook more even Mom? yes he's still doing clean up his mess on the chair mm. That's the finished product. It is very, very hot. The soup looks too wet. Red or watery? Red. Like too much soup? Too much red. Mm. Well, that's what happens when you put the whole seasoning oh, packet. I don't know how much it was. Usually, I cook it with an egg, too. Do you want an egg or no? I don't really care. It's up to you. Egg or no? Alright, so this is my bowl. Looks pretty good. I didn't microwave it quite yet with to the full seven minutes, but pulled it out, added a few um, things of what you call it, seaweed, and then I'm gonna crack an egg in mine. Pretty good, pretty good, I, I have to say. And it, it's so funny too, because like the instructions are right on the packet, and I just never thought to look look at it. <laughs> But you don't have to dirty a pot, you know, and it's like just one small bowl. So, good job, PJ. Never really thought to do this. Is your mouth burning? Yes. Oh, is it because it's less water? Maybe next time don't put the whole seasoning. Yes, my mouth is on fire right now. Oh, poor baby. I'll drink some of your eyes milk. Yeah, drink some of his milk. <laughs> Boys are having some ice cream. How is it? Yummy. Pretty hot day. I'm done. I was trying to set up something and I was getting super duper frustrated with it. So how are you guys feeling uh, second day after getting your COVID shot? My arm feels terrible. Your arm feels terrible? I've been feeling way sleepier lately. I don't feel anything. Your eye feels um, fine. And I got three bug bites on that arm. So Peter did fall asleep. He, he rarely takes naps too. Yeah. He didn't even do anything today. He f fell asleep. Like I was so exhausted for some reason. Yeah. 
so. Maybe it's your body fighting it off. So you, you've you been exhausted all day? No, I just, when we were watching this Marvel, I was struggling to keep my eyes open, mm. so I just closed them mm. for a while. Alrighty, I had a little bit of rest after I ate, and, um, I was actually about to hop back on the computer and do some more work because I mean basically it's the end of the quarter and there's a lot of work to be done I feel really behind and yeah I think I'm gonna be burning the midnight oil today so I was gonna go back on the computer like I said but I was like you know <laughs> I'm such a procrastinator I was like you know Maybe I should just water the garden first and I don't have to worry about it. So I came out here to water the garden before I start working again. So let's just show you guys. I don't know. You know, like I'm still really trying with these tomato plants. They're like super, uh, what you call it, bushy now, I guess. With... A good amount of flowers right but not terribly too many tomatoes there's a couple here so I mean there's there's some there's some is it focusing yeah so I mean I can see the progress but it's very slow grow going and I I feel like I don't know I just feel like it's not as healthy as it could be so every day is a struggle and every day I like come out here and I look at it and I'm like what do I need to do to make you successful <laughs> I don't know but anyways um, it's going okay there's this guy here that's really really full and then for some reason this one and that one the two in the middle are not as big also, I noticed there's some bugs here. Can you guys see? I feel like I need to, I need to trim it. Maybe like that. Those little black spots, right? Like, what are those? And like this little tomato here, like, okay, something's eating this guy. Let me just pluck it off, right? Like something ate it. You know, it's just too tangled up in here. I think I need to... I think I need to trim it. Okay, that one's definitely my I'm scared. Definitely yeah, I do need to trim it. Also move my little pepper plants over here so it could get a little less sun today because it was just so hot and sunny. Thought a little bit of um, shade might do it some good. Looks like there's a couple strawberries that might be ripe today. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave them. Zucchini's doing good over here. And there's a nice, there's a nice one right here, right in there. There's one right there that's doing all right. This little guy here, I think it pollinated okay. And this guy, man, I, I don't know what's happening here. I think I need to just cut it because that don't look that good. But there's a zucchini right in here. Oh, kind of try to, what's it called, prune it a little bit. Now it got kind of dark. <laughs> so now I'm just trying to water it. And then I will do some work, guys. I promise, I promise I will do some work. Boys are just playing around with their scooters. Power's working on his project on that side over there which I cannot get to because I'm watering the garden. What are you doing son? He's rollerblading. I'm trying to... Normally Power would put the barbecue away but he didn't do that last time. Oh my goodness. Okay let's... let's not. Somebody already fell once and cried. Yeah. Yeah, who's that, huh? Ah, uh, Uriah. He cries a lot. I don't know if it's too dark or not, but that's power. 
Working on his project. The backboard for the kids' basketball hoop. Looks like Power's fixing himself a late dinner. It's already uh, 9 o'clock, bro. Marvel got me craving some uh Oh, <laughs> that's why. We got some frozen um, chicken tikka masala from Costco. It's actually not bad. It's pretty good. The only thing is that it's white meat. Yeah, we like dark meat. Dark meat is just so much more forgiving in terms of like One person dry meat. likes dark white meat. Right, yeah? Does he really? Yeah, he, does. he says he does. He does. Know. He does like white meat. If it's dry, he won't eat it though. Cover and heat on. I did notice a bunch of um, ants right around here. Ugh. It's not like it was even going to any like food or like, you know, whatever. Indian food. It was Indian food. <laughs> but it was just like kind of crawling around and I think it's just the heat. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys, I didn't vlog it either, but we had bought a package of tortillas from Trader Joe's literally like what, the other day, right? Did you throw it away? Yeah. You should take it back to Trader Joe's. Like two days ago. Like I bought this two days ago. And it's but it's been really warm and I left it out. I didn't put it in the fridge. And then when I thought of it, I was like, crap, I better put it in the fridge before mold. And then when I took it out, it was already covered in mold. And it was, it was just nasty and I just threw it away. Over like $2. I don't know. I just tossed it. Oh man, it's been so hot. I would say for me and any two, I think like when it's like really hot, we're kind of like useless. Like we don't want to do nothing. We don't want to clean the house. We're just gonna leave things, whatever. We get kind of like short with the kids. We don't have like a lot of patience. So when it's hot, is mom and dad get mad easier? <laughs> I think so.